going to try to do a reading and see what will it take to get rid of bar. Okay, what will it take to get rid of bar? Really, he needs to be disbarred and uh, for all the things he's done. So what will it take before they get rid of bar? Okay. We've got, you know, this distrust and disinformation and things that are happening. Um, the things that Barr is doing by doing Trump's bidding. Okay. Really, basically, barking at the moon craziness uh, that he's been doing. So that just that card right there just points to me that it's all the stuff that he has been engaging in. <laughs> Barking mad has nothing to do with, uh, really, the legal law. Um, one side we have goodness. And the other side we have passage. to see something with this. So I would say the goodness is not that he's doing good things, but, uh, you know, to get him out of there would be the good thing to do, passage. Um, but I'm going to pull a couple of these cards and see. Wisdom, okay, wisdom is looking at this goodness. Okay, and as far as passage, yeah, manipulation. Um, so looking at the things that, uh, Barr has been involved in, and I think this goodness and wisdom is the um, judges and the ones that look at you uh, to disbar, those that are involved in that, looking at the things that, um, again, Barr is doing uh, by doing Trump's bidding. Um, none of it is balanced. It's erroneous. Um, and that they see that his passage, what he's doing is trying to manipulate things. Okay, underneath of it is, uh, again, um, getting something doesn't want. Above it, we have uh, the um, celebration going into it. And the happy family. So yeah, this is saying that they they see that he's celebrating. The three of them is usually uh, my thing for like Trump's kids and stuff. Okay, so we've got him just doing the bidding of uh, usually this is my thing for the Trump family. Um, all cups, all emotion. Okay, all emotion driven in the bottom of it for for a bar. You know, they see that they're giving something that, that's going to interfere with Trump's family, then um, he's, he's in there. Yeah. He's got some kind of past involvement with them um, that set him on this quest. To, again, get them out of troubled waters. Okay, so again, he's acting like Trump's lawyer, not the, the um, DOJ for the um, Department of Justice for the United States. Um, so that's what is this going to take to take him down, for them to look at that, use the wisdom, 
about the goodness, about what the DOJ is supposed to represent, and looking at his passages, the things he's done for Trump to manipulate magically to get him out of these things. And again, at the bottom, we had him, you know, working just basically for the Trump family, some kind of an emotional thing with him with this. It's not with Barr, I'm not seeing any money things. It's not money things here with him. It's some emotional thing that he's got, kind of like Breitbart, you know, the anarchist that wants to, just barking at the moon mad. Um, yeah, this is a deep-seated thing in them. And uh, he's got an emotional connection with this. So again, it's going to take the, um, the ones that deal with the lawyers in, in being disbarred, having the wisdom about what a good uh, lawyer is supposed to be doing versus Again, this manipulation to open the way for Trump, basically. Um, so it looks like that's what it's going to take. Now, they have had, you know, they, and they continue to have more and more uh, the, um, judges and attorneys coming out against um, Barr. Okay. So that's what I get. Uh, what's it going to take to get him out of there? To recognize, basically, he's acting as Trump's lawyer, Trump's family's lawyer, and not a DOJ. And he's manipulating things in a wrong way that's um, basically egregious, egregious manipulation of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, yeah, Barr needs to be uh, gone a long time ago. They should have uh, disbarred him, really. So thanks for tuning in. Much love and light to everyone. If you enjoyed the reading, click the thumbs up. Thank you so much.